Good morning to everyone. This is Pastor Irma Berry Scott with Overcoming with Pastor Irma on today. Amen. Amen. Um, I'm excited about today because the Lord allowed us to wake up to see it. Lord have mercy. There's great opportunity for us today to do the will of the Father. Amen. So we ought to be excited that the Lord woke us up. He trusts us enough to wake us up so we can fulfill our assignment in the earth realm. Amen and amen. Uh, uh, come on in. Let's uh, get ready for the word of God on today. We are still leading up to um, the uh, Passion Week still leading up to the resurrection. We're still leading up, Lord have mercy, uh, uh, to celebrate Good Friday. Amen and amen. Um, we are a week away uh, uh, from um, um, the major um, uh, Good Friday and um, Easter well, I don't like to call it Easter. Resurrection Sunday. Amen. Amen. Um, I pray that uh, during this Lenten season that we have consecrated ourselves unto the Lord. That we have uh, um, um, denied ourselves. That we have uh, um, um, consecrated, that's the word I want, consecrated ourselves unto the Lord, uh, so that when we go into this uh, Passion Week, uh, beginning on Sunday, that we will be a clean vessel, we will be a pure vessel, we can lift up holy hands unto the Lord, and celebrate this uh, mighty time of the year, amen. And amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on in, you all. Uh, 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 the Lord has a word for us today. And I believe it's a word of encouragement. Lord, have mercy. Uh, um, I am so thankful that the Lord has given me this opportunity to come and share God's word with you. So that you will be um, edified and you will be uh, fortified and that you will be um, lifted up. Amen. On today. Bless the name of Jesus. Uh, the, song, uh, the psalm writer said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Lord, have mercy for the Lord is worthy to be praised, y'all. Uh, there's no one like him. Bless Jesus' name. Amen. I'm just talking, trying to uh, give people time to come on in on this morning. God bless you, Barbara Smith. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Camille Eubanks. God bless you. Uh, uh, glad to have you on. God bless all of you who I can see and all of you who I can't see. Um, thank you all for uh, 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 when I'm out in the street, out and about, uh, you all will come and let me know that you listen to me on Facebook. And I appreciate that. God bless you. Um, I pray that you are uh, uh, blessed through the word that God sends through me. Amen and amen. Uh, woo, I'm excited about the word, y'all. I'm going to... Well, I ain't going to say I'm going to try not to preach it. I probably will preach it. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, We're going to go on in the Lord on today. Amen. Invite somebody to come on in on this morning. Uh, invite somebody to say, come uh, uh, hear a word from the Lord. <laughs> Woo, God going to talk to us today. Amen and amen. Good morning, Elder Constance Harris. Uh, good, good morning, Elder Kathleen Lilliard, a uh, wise, amen, wiseman, amen. God bless you this morning. Glad to have you on with us today, amen. Um, we're going to soon get ready because um, I really want to stop and get breakfast before I go to work this morning. 
because I'm a little hungry. Amen. Amen. And amen. So we're going to give what the Lord has said to give on today. Amen. Um, I hope you all have um, seen the lineup for next week. Um, beginning on Sunday, um, Palm Sunday, I will come um, before you on Palm Sunday uh, with the word from the Lord. And then uh, uh, I'm turning it over to you all. Amen. Amen. The seven last sayings of Christ. Um, we're going to be doing that Monday through Thursday. Amen. Uh, we're going to start off with, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Um, pa I call her Pastor Lisa Drummond will be um, our first speaker on that day. Um, and then, uh, to today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Um, um, Prophet Glenn Harris um, will be our second speaker on that day. This is on Monday. On Monday, um, those two are going to kick us off. Woman, on Tuesday, woman, behold thy son. Um, Elder Constance Harris will be with us. Uh, um, uh, she'll be our first speaker on that day. And then, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Lord have mercy. Pastor Hassani D. Lee is going to come. And he's going to speak on that for us. This is on Tuesday. He'll be our second speaker. On Wednesday, on Wednesday, on Wednesday. Um, I thirst, I thirst. Minister Sherry Lynn Bell will be on um, to speak to us. She'll be our first speaker. And then it is finished. Lord have mercy. Evangelist Jatana Wilson is going to come. Lord have mercy. It is finished. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's on Wednesday. That's on Wednesday. And then on fr um, Thursday, on Thursday, for our last saying, uh, on Thursday, uh, Apostle Marcus Daniels is going to be with us. Amen. The man of God is going to come. Amen. He got a day by himself. Lord, have mercy. Uh, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit, Lord have mercy. So we look forward to Thursday to Apostle Marcus Daniels coming to speak to us. And then on Good Friday, on Good Friday, we're going to have some good preaching on Good Friday. Amen. Uh, my friend, my sister is going to come and she's going to give us a word from the Lord on a Good Friday. Lord have mercy. Uh, I call her Apostle. Lord have mercy. Apostle Angela Hood is going to be with us. Yes, that's the lady from one word can change your life if you believe. Lord have mercy. She's going to be with us on Friday for an inspiring message on a good Friday. And y'all don't have to work good Friday so she can just talk. Lord have mercy. She can go in on Friday. Lord have mercy. Just start my day. Lord have mercy. I might not even go back to bed. Help me Holy Ghost. Um, so that will be on Friday. On Saturday is an open day. If you would like to uh, speak to the uh, people of God about what is what went down on Saturday, Lord have mercy, because we know He went and took the keys <laughs> from the devil on uh, Saturday. Lord have mercy, when He was in the grave, Lord have mercy, He took the keys from death and the grave. Lord have mercy, He wrote y'all. Oh, y'all not gonna help me up in here. He had something in it. In his hands when he rose on Sunday morning. Y'all not helping me already. Lord have mercy. So that is an open day. So if you would like to speak on that on Saturday, uh, send me an inbox. Send me an inbox. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, and we'll see what the Lord says. Amen and amen. And of course, on Resurrection Sunday. Resurrection Sunday. How Al Roker say, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Lord have mercy. Uh, Resurrection Sunday. I will come with a word from the Lord. We know that the tomb was empty. Lord have mercy on 
uh, Resurrection Sunday. Amen and amen. So that is our lineup for Passion Week. Amen. I hope you all are as excited as I am. Lord have mercy. When the Lord gave me to do this, I tell you, my spirit just rose up, y'all. Lord have mercy. I got excited about what God is going to do on next week. But there is a word for the Lord today. There is a word from him. Amen. And you just give me a few minutes. Uh, we're just going to go over some scriptures on today. Lord have mercy. Um, you all know that I've been talking about what did Jesus say? <laughs> Lord have mercy. We talk about what everybody else say. We talk about everybody else's philosophy. We talk about everybody else's books. But what did Jesus say, y'all? Lord have mercy. What did he say? Well, today... I want to talk about, Lord have mercy, the seven I am's that Christ said he was. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. Oh, we know what we say he is. We say he's Lord. We say he's Redeemer. We say he's Healer. We say he's the Justifier. We say that he, Lord, we, say, we, we call him a whole lot of things. He even say, you call me Lord, Lord, and you don't even do what I tell you. Lord, have mercy. But what does he say he is? Help me up. Y'all, I feel like preaching already. Lord, have mercy. What did Jesus say that he was? Amen. Or who he is? Help me up in here today. So let's go to John. Let's go to John 6 and 35. John 6, 35. God bless your word on today. Let your word go out and bless your people today. Courage hearts. Let them know who Jesus is to them. Hey, God, in this earth realm, as we go and enter into this time, uh, uh, we're still in the Lenten season, but we're on our way to the cross. Hey, God, I Thank you. Lord, have mercy. God, uh, speak to us, to who you are. Lord, have mercy that we can come to know you in a better way. In the name of Jesus, I had Irma behind the cross and you speak your word to your people. Don't let your word return into you void, but let it accomplish what you want it to do. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. What did Jesus say? He is. Lord, Lord, who does he say he is? John 6 and 35. Lord have mercy. Uh, and Jesus said unto them. Ah, uh, help me up in here. He says, I am the bread of life. Lord have mercy. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Lord have mercy. We know how we like to eat. Lord have mercy in the natural realm. We like our crab legs. We like our chitlins. We like our pork chop, our ham. Y'all not going to help me up in here. But Jesus said in the spirit realm, I am the bread of life. If you eat me, if you eat of me, you won't hunger again. You won't thirst again. We can eat this natural food and be hungry. Oh, we know how we eat Chinese food. And an hour later, we ready to eat again. Lord, have mercy. But if we eat of the Spirit of God, if we eat the bread of life, we will never hunger nor thirst Again, Lord, this is what Jesus said that he is. I am the bread of life. That's number one. That's number one. That's number one. Number two, number two, He, who else does he say he is? Lord, have mercy, John 8 and 12. John 8 and verse 12. Jesus says this, Lord, have mercy. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, Lord have mercy, I am the light of the world. Help me, Holy Ghost. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have uh, the light of life. Help me, Holy Ghost. Jesus said, I am the light 
of the world. Lord, have mercy. Why are we walking in darkness when Jesus is the light? Lord, have mercy. Things are drawn to the light. Help me, Holy Ghost. We need to be running to the light. We sing the song, walk in the light, the beautiful light. Come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Come on, y'all. Let's walk in the light of God. Jesus is the light, the light of the world. He's ever shining in my soul. This is what Jesus said. He is. I am the light. Lord, have mercy. And this light that I shine will bring you life. L-I-F-E. Help me up in here, y'all. Come on, let, let's gr- get drawn to the light. Lord, have mercy. Let the light of God in you shine bright in this dark and evil world. Uh, I'm talking about what Jesus said that he was. Lord, have mercy. The I am's of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Who did he say he is? He says, first of all, he's the bread of life. Then he says, I am the light of the world. I hope I got somebody helping me preach this morning. Lord have mercy. Number three, number three, John 10 and 9. John 10 and verse 9. What else does he say he is? Lord have mercy. He says here, I am the door. (laughs) Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, By me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pastor. Help me, Holy Ghost. He is the door. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. He said, come in through me. Lord, have mercy. And you can be saved. Lord, have mercy. This tells us here, our roads do not lead to Rome. Woo! It ain't but one way, y'all. It ain't but one door, y'all. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, Lord, um, is the door. Help me, Holy Ghost. Ah, uh, I believe there's a song that Timothy uh, writes on. God's got a way. Lord, have mercy that you can't go over. God's got a way that you can't go under. God's got a way that you can't go around him. Lord, have mercy. You must come in at the door. Yeah, my Sunday. Help me up in here, y'all. It ain't but one door. Lord, have mercy. And it ain't one of them revolving doors. Hey, my Savior, my God, going in and out. Lord, have mercy. Uh, Jumping in God and jumping out of God. No, you got to go in at the door. Lord have mercy. Then what you get, what you need inside that door, then he said you can come in and come. Y'all not go help me up in here today. Lord have mercy. So now we know he's the bread of life. He's the light of the world and he is the door. Ain't but one door, y'all. Lord have mercy. You must come through Jesus Christ to get to the Father. Help me up in here. Woo, God. What else did he say I am? What, What else did he say? John chapter 10, we're still in John chapter 10. Let's go down to verse 11. Lord have mercy. He says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Help me up in here. Then he goes on in verse 14 and he says, I am the good shepherd again and know my sheep and I am and am known of mine. Lord, have mercy. He says, I'm the good shepherd. He just didn't say, I'm a shepherd. Lord, have mercy. But he said, I'm the good shepherd. I'm going to lead you to green pastures. I'm not going to lead you, Lord, have mercy, to the desert. I'm going to lead you to a place where you can eat, where you can graze, where you'll be safe. Lord, have mercy. He said, I lead you to the calm streams. Lord, have mercy. I'm not going to lead.
lead you to a raging river where you can drown. I'm going to lead you to peaceful waters. Lord have mercy. Where you can get refreshed. Where you, y'all not going to help me. That's what a good shepherd does. Good shepherd ain't going to feed you no contaminated food. A good shepherd ain't going to throw you to the wolves. The good shepherd is not, y'all not going to help me up in here. It's not going to let anything come into the fold. Help me, Holy Ghost. Woo! The good shepherd will separate the ghosts from the sheep. Y'all are not going to help me up here. I'm talking about what Jesus said he was. He said, I'm the good shepherd. Then he said that I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Woo! My Savior. Woo! My Savior. I believe another scripture says, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow. Help me, Holy. You better find your good shepherd. Help my not any Osha. The one that's going to protect you. The one that's going to feed you. The one that's going to nourish you. Lord have mercy. The one that's going to groom you. Keep you fresh. Keep y'all, y'all not gonna help me up in here. Woo, my savior. Y'all, I'm happy this morning. Hey, God, my God. Lord have mercy. So he is the good shepherd. Help me, Holy Ghost. This is who Jesus said he was. I know we ascribe a whole lot of stuff to him. Lord have mercy. But this is what he said he was. So Lord have mercy. Uh let's go on. Let's go on. In verse John 11 and 25. Uh, John 11 and 25. Lord have mercy. I'm getting ready to get real happy now. Lord have mercy. Jesus said unto her. This is when uh, Lazarus had died. Lord have mercy. And Martha was a little perturbed. Lord have mercy. You could have been here earlier. If you had been here earlier, he wouldn't have died. Lord have mercy. Oh, but Jesus said unto her, Woo, what did Jesus say? <laughs> I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Help me up in here, y'all. He is the resurrection. He'll raise you up. Uh, your situation might be dead. Lord have mercy. Your marriage might be dead. Help me, Holy Ghost. The doctor said you might be dead. Y'all not going to help me up in here. Hey, God. The employer may say you dead. You fired. Uh, we don't need you no more. Oh, my Savior. Lord have mercy. But Jesus said, but Jesus, but Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Action and the life. Lord have mercy. Not only will I raise you up, but I'll give you life. Lord have mercy. When Lazarus came forth, he was still bound, y'all, in his grave clothes. Woo, my Savior. But God told the people to loose him and let him go. Lord have mercy. Give him life so he can walk right, talk right. Lord have mercy. Have the activities of his life. I am the resurrection and the life. Lord have mercy. He said that he that believeth in me. All you got to do is to believe. Lord have mercy. Believeth in me. Though he were dead. Yet shall he live. Lord have mercy. Woo. We know that in the rest. When we go to sleep here on this earth. Lord have mercy. We going to be raised again. At the trumpet sound. Woo. God, I love you. Help me, Holy Ghost, but you got to believe. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost, but you got to believe. Jesus said, if you're in me, Lord, have mercy. When I resurrect, you going to resurrect. Oh, my Savior and my God. I'm the resurrection and the life. Lord, have mercy. Let's move on. Let's move on. John 14 and verses. John 14 and verses. What else does Jesus say that he is? Lord have mercy. Jesus said unto him, Lord have mercy, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No 
no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Hey, God, I love you up in here. Lord, have mercy. He said, I am the way. Ha! Ain't no other way, y'all. I am the way. Harry Krishna is not the way. Lord, have mercy. Jim Jones is not the way. Muhammad is not the the way, Lord have mercy, your favorite philosopher is not the way. Lord have mercy, he said, I am the way, the truth. Lord have mercy and the life. Lord have mercy. I'm all three, y'all. Uh, it ain't no pick and choose. Lord have mercy, select the best answer. He said, I'm all three. Lord have mercy. No man can come to the Father Unless he comes through me. Lord have mercy. You can't get around him y'all. Lord have mercy. You got to go through him. To get to the father. Lord have mercy. This is what Jesus said. That I am. Lord have mercy. Oh God. He pointed us to himself. Hey my savior. He didn't say go down the street. And around the corner. Lord have mercy. He said I am the way. Hey, my shot, you trying to get to the Father? You got to come through me, sir, uh, brother and sister. Lord, have mercy. Hey, God, you can't sidestep this thing. Can't make up your own way. Lord, have mercy. The scribes and the Pharisees don't, don't get it. You can't get to the Father through them, but you can get to him through me. Ha. <laughs> Help me up in here. All right. And the last one and the last one. John 15, verse 1. Lord have mercy. And then we go skip down to verse 5. He says, I am the true vine. And my father is the husbandman. Then in verse 5, he says, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Lord, have mercy. This is what Jesus said that I am. He said, I am the true vine. Lord, have mercy. This ain't no artificial uh, uh, stuff over here. Lord, have mercy. I'm the true vine. And my father takes care of the vine. Y'all not going to help me. He's the husbandman. He's the caretaker. Help me, Holy Ghost. Woo, God. This is what Jesus said that he is. Then he said, I am the vine. He's the finding who he is but did he say you ah, you got a part in this too you the branches lord have mercy the father is the caretaker i'm the vine and you are the branches lord have mercy if you attach yourself to me woo, my savior if you abide in me lord have mercy and i abide in you. You're going to get your nourishment. You're going to get your refreshment. You're going to be able to grow with me. Lord have mercy. The same bringeth forth much fruit. You get attached to me. Lord have mercy. You'll be able to put some leaves on that branch. You'll be able to put some fruit on that branch. Lord have mercy, but you got to be connected to me. Help me, Holy Ghost. Woo, God. If you don't connect to me, the true vine, Lord have mercy, all you will be good for is to be cut off and burned in the fire. Y'all not going to help me up in here. Am I preaching all right today? Lord have mercy. I'm talking about what Jesus said that he, he is. Who he is. We ascribe all things to him. Lord have mercy. But who did he say he was? He said I am the vine. And ye are the branches. Stay connected to the vine. To the true vine. Stop connecting yourself. To this artificial stuff. To drugs. To illicit sex. That ain't the true vine y'all. Lord have mercy. To uh, fame and fortune. Lord have mercy. To uh, 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 stop connecting yourself. Lord have mercy. To entanglements. <laughs> 
Help me, Holy Ghost. Eh? It won't nourish you. It won't grow you. Lord, have, you won't be able to bear fruit, Lord, have, with these artificial vines, y'all. Help me, Holy Ghost. But stay connected to the true vine, which Jesus himself said he was. Woo, God. I am the vine. Oh, God. So now, so now we know seven things that Jesus said that he is. Lord, have mercy. He said, I am the bread of life. <laughs> then he said, I am the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Jesus said, I am the door. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. And he said, I am the good shepherd. Help me up in here. Then he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. Somebody need to be resurrected today. Help me, Holy Ghost. Woo, God. Get in Jesus. He's the resurrection. He can bring your dead situations to life. Lord, have mercy. Then he said, I am the way. I'm the truth and the life. Uh, no man come to the Father but by me. Help me, Holy Ghost. Woo, God. Stop trying to get to, G, to uh, the Father through these different roads. Lord, have mercy. You ain't going to find him on the drug road. You're not going to find him on the sex road. You're not going to find him on the lying and cheating road. Lord, have mercy. But Jesus said, I am the way. Lord, have mercy. I'm the path to get you getting to the Father. Help me, Holy Ghost. Then he said, the last one, the last one, he said, I am the vine. Lord, have mercy. Attach yourself to the right vine. I'm the true vine. Lord, have mercy. Ain't no other true vine. I'm the true vine. Everything else is artificial. Lord, have mercy. Everything else will kill you. Lord, have mercy. Help me, Holy Ghost. Eh, but I'm the true vine. Help me, Jesus. Woo! If you want to bear some fruit, get attached to the true vine. You'll have some true fruit. Help me, Holy Ghost. Hey, it won't be contaminated fruit. Hey, it won't make the people sick. It won't make the people die. Help me, Holy Ghost. If you attach yourself to the true vine, get the true nourishment, get the true bread, get the true water. Lord, y'all not going to help me? Then you can have the real fruit on your tree. <laughs> Woo, God have mercy. Woo, that's what I feel like doing, running. <laughs> Help me, Holy Ghost. This is what Jesus said that he is. Lord have mercy. Uh, and as we celebrate him going into next week, Lord have mercy. As we celebrate him, remember who he is. Who he says that he is. He is the true vine. He is the bread of life. He's the light of the world. He's the door. He's the good shepherd. He's the way, the truth, and the light. He is the resurrection and the life. Lord, have mercy. Know who he is. Get to know him better. Get to know him for who he says he is. Lord, have mercy. Then we won't call him Lord, Lord, and not do what he say. Because <laughs> when you know who he is, you'll be glad to humble yourself before him. Hey, and do what he asks us to do. God bless each and every one of you on today. I pray that this word has excited you, that this word has blessed your spirit on this Thursday morning and that you're ready to go out and share who Jesus is with the world who don't know who he is. Let your light so shine so that men and women, boys and girls can see who he is and have life everlasting. Lord have mercy. 
God bless you on today. On uh, Sunday morning, I'll be back with a uh, Palm Sunday message ready for Passion Week. Lord have mercy. Pray for all of our speakers on next week that they'll come and deliver a word from the Lord. Lord have mercy. They'll be speaking to us for 10 to 15 minutes. Amen. Amen. Uh, Lisa, I call her pastor, uh, Lisa Drummond, Lord have mercy, uh, prophet Glenn Harris, elder Constant Harris, no relation, I don't think, Lord have mercy, uh, pastor Hassani D. Lee, Lord have minister Sherry Lynn Bell, Lord have mercy, evangelist Jatana Wilson, apostle Marcus Daniels, uh, 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 Apostle Angela Hood, Lord have mercy, uh, pray for our speakers, Lord have mercy, that they will come and break the bread of life to us on the Passion Week, amen. God bless each and every one of you, I love you all to life, uh, um, be encouraged and, and uh, move forward in God. God bless you. See you on Sunday morning, Palm Sunday, for another word from the Lord. God bless you. I love you all.